the house of the Lord. Anybody happy to be here just one more time? Hallelujah. God, you have been a um, sustainer. You've been our strength. You've been very present help in the time of trouble. And we come to give your name the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, let the glory of the Lord rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord, let it rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, oh. Let the glory of the Lord, let it rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord, let it rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, yeah. We cry, oh, oh, oh. let it rise. One more time. We cry, oh, let it rise. Come on, let the glory, let the glory of the Lord, let it rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord, let it rise among us. Let the praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Anybody want to see it rise today? Let the glory of the Lord let it rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord let it rise. Let the praises of our praises of our King rise among us. Let it rise. Come on, we're gonna say, let the songs of the Lord, let the songs of the Lord, let it rise among us. Let the songs of the Lord, let it rise. Let the praises of our praises of our rise among us. Let it rise. And we cry, oh. Say, 
Let it rise. Let it rise. Let it rise. Let it rise. In our home. Let it rise. In our school. Let it rise. In our marriage. Let it rise. For our children. Let it rise. For the next generation. Let it rise. For the older generation. Say, let it rise. Let it rise. We want to see you high. Let it rise. We want to see you high. Let it rise. Say, let it rise. Come on and magnify the name of the Lord. He's worthy. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be praised. And we want to welcome you here to Christian Ministries of the Apostolic Faith Church. Amen. Where I'm the lead pastor, Bishop Frankie L. Quinn. We thank God for that. We, <laughs> she's laughing. we thank God. We thank God. Amen. We thank God for our lovely wife, Lady Tracy Quinn. Praise God for her. And Pastor Lois Duck, we thank God for all our ministers and our deacons. Amen. And we thank God for our media team and our ushers that are here. Give God a praise for our praise and our worship team. Uh, the, the tribe of Judah. Amen. To come out to put forth the praises of God. I like what I heard this one uh, preacher said. Uh, he was leading uh, on a CD. He said, I'm not a gospel singer, I'm a praise and worship leader. Amen. There's a difference. Amen. These are not gospel singers, they're praise and worship leaders. Amen. To get us into the mood, into the momentum of praising and worshiping our God. Come on, give God a praise. Amen. So as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, uh, we certainly want to remember the, the, the uh, service on today. There's something to be said or done to encourage us and to inspire our hearts. And we certainly want to remember the membership of Christian ministries. And we want to remember men and women and children everywhere that the Lord will continue to save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. Uh, we want to remember uh, Sister Queen uh, Davis. She was in a car accident. It was actually a hit and run. Amen. And um, she sent me the pictures uh, yesterday, and all I could say is, wow. You know, all I could say is, wow. When you, that first thing hits you is, wow. You know it was pretty bad. So she's convalescing at home. So uh, pray, let us pray that the Lord will continue to touch her body. Amen. Give her the strength that she needs and that the Lord will continue to heal. And there was another shooting in our, our community, uh, even on uh, yesterday. Let us pray for the family, the bereaved family, which also includes the Davis family. Let us pray uh, for them that the Lord will continue to encourage and strengthen them. Uh, let us pray for, like I said, now when I say that, I don't just uh, mean that as a byword. Let us just pray for men and women and children everywhere. I know that you know people yourself that needs prayers. Just remember Sister Jackie's brother, amen, that needs help. Uh, that right now help going through in his body. So let us pray. Let us pray for all of our, our connections, our social media uh, family as they're putting in uh, prayer requests on the line. Um, we'll go back and review them and we'll certainly pray that the Lord will bless you and the Lord will bless your request. The Bible says that the fervent, effectual prayer of the righteous 
availeth much. And men should always pray and not to faint. faint prayer is, should be the first response to anything. As we have first responders in the community, prayer is our first response. We should pray without ceasing. So as we want the church to stand, uh, Sister Nemo, you got a uh, request? Wow. She said she wants you to pray for one of her close friends of a family member that lost his life. Amen. Pray for the family. Uh, we're living in those kind of times now. We shouldn't take life for granted. Uh, the Bible tells us to draw nigh unto the Lord, and he will draw nigh unto us. Remember? Yes, yes. That was the one that was in the coma. Uh, amen. Let us pray for the Bender family. Amen. The arm of the Lord is not short, though they in Mississippi. Ah, the arm of the Lord is not short. And we need prayer. Amen. We need to pray for one another. Amen. Let every heart pray. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, as we stand here in your presence, we give thee thanks. We praise you. We magnify you. We come boldly to the throne of grace that we might obtain mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. We ask you, Lord, that you bless each and every request that's been made known. With all antics aside, with all uh, tricks aside, Lord, we need your help. We need your deliverance. We need your power. Help us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Be a present help in the time of trouble. Send forth healing. Send forth deliverance. In glory by Christ Jesus. And now, Lord, we ask, Lord, that you bless our service on today. Let the Spirit of the Lord, let it rise among us. Uh, let your anointing, let it rise among us. Lord, give us courage, give us strength. Let it rise, let it rise among us. And as we worship and praise you, uh, we'll magnify your glorious name. We'll lift up the name of Jesus. Bless us in our vision. Bless us in our purpose. Let the glory of God be with us in Jesus. give you in public <laughs> basically let it let it be known what you did and let it be known that you forgive them <laughs> so we're gonna have mercy on her in public <laughs> hey amen we bring your attention to the sixth chapter of psalms O oh Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, neither chasten me in thy hot displeasure. Have mercy upon me, O oh Lord, for I am weak. O oh Lord, heal me, for my bones are vexed. My soul is also sown vexed, sore vexed. But thou, O oh Lord, how long? Return, O oh Lord, Deliver my soul, O oh, save me for thy mercy's sake. For in death there is no remembrance of thee. In the grave, who shall give thee thanks? I am weary, will my groaning all the night make I my bed to swim. I water my couch with my tears. Mine eye is consumed because of grief. It wears old because of all 
mine enemies. Depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. For the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord will receive my prayer. Let all mine enemies be ashamed and sore vexed. Let them return and be ashamed suddenly. May the Lord have blessings for the reading of his word. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. It's praise and worship in the time, in the sanctuary. Amen. I know we're social distancing, but tell your neighbor, I know who I serve. I know who's been good to me. Amen. 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 We come to lift up the name of the Lord. You've been good. Say you are Alpha and Omega. You are Alpha and Omega. You're the beginning and the end. You're the beginning and the end. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. I praise, I praise your, name. your name. I praise, I praise your, name. your name. You are Alpha and Omega. You are Alpha and Omega. You're the beginning and the end. You're the beginning and the end. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Forever. Oh, I praise your name. I praise your name. You are Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. I praise your name. I praise your name. You are Alpha and Omega. You are Alpha and Omega. Beginning and the end. Beginning and the end. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. I pray for your name. Your name. I pray for your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy, 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 holy. You are worthy, you are worthy of, my of my praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy, 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 holy. You are worthy. You are worthy of my Praise. Oh, praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy, 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 holy. God, you're worthy, you are worthy of my praise. Of my praise. Hallelujah. 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 Holy, 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 holy. You are worthy, you are worthy of my praise. my praise. You are Alpha and Omega. You are Alpha and Omega. Yeah, you're the beginning and the end. You're the beginning and the end. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yeah, I praise your name. I praise your name. I praise your name. You are Alpha and Omega. You are Alpha and Omega. You're the beginning and the end. You're the beginning and the end. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Oh, we'll praise your name. We'll praise your name. Hallelujah. Holy, holy. Lord, you're worthy of our praise. Hallelujah. Holy, 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 you are worthy, you are worthy of my praise. My praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy, 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 Lord, you are worthy, you are worthy of, my praise. of my praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy, 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 you are worthy, you are worthy of my praise. My praise. Your name is above all names. You're worthy. Your 
works of your hands. Hallelujah. Holy, holy. You are worthy of my prayer. Hallelujah. Holy, holy. You are worthy of my prayer. Hallelujah. Holy, holy. You are worthy of my prayer. Hallelujah. Holy, holy. You are worthy of my prayer. We come to lift up your name, Father. You've been good to us, Father. There's none else deserving but you, Father. And we bless your name today, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Because your name is above our name. And you're worthy of all my praise. And mighty are the works of your hands. Mighty are the works of your hands. Your name is above our name. And you're worthy of all my praise. And mighty are the works of your hands. Mighty are the works of your hands. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise. Your name. your name, we praise, we praise your, name. your name, we bless your name, Jesus. You're the solid rock we stand, Father. Thank you, Jesus. You're You've been good, Father. You alone are worthy, Jesus. And we surrender our lives to you, Father. We become living sacrifices, holy and acceptable, which is our reasonable service. That's the least we can do. Hallelujah. We bless you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. Withholding nothing. I'm withholding and I surrender all to you, yeah, and everything I give to you, withholding nothing, I'm withholding Say, I surrender. I surrender. Yes, we do. Withholding nothing. 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 We give it all to you. Withholding nothing, withholding nothing. Say I surrender, I surrender all to you. Everything, everything, yeah, I give to you. Withholding nothing, withholding nothing. I'm withholding nothing. Withholding nothing, withholding nothing, 
withholding nothing, withholding nothing, withholding nothing, we're withholding nothing, withholding nothing, withholding nothing, yeah, and I give you all of me, I give you all of me. I give you all of me. I give you all of me. Yeah, say King Jesus, my Savior, forever. I give you all. I give you all of me. Yeah, I give you all of me. Yeah, say King Jesus, Jesus, my Savior, Savior, forever, forever. we give you all, I give you all of me, I give you all of me, and we say yes, yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. 
say, my life is not, my life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself. I give myself. I give myself to you. Yeah. My life is not my own. My life is not my own. To you. To you. Yes, one more time to the Father, and we say yes, 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 Lord, yes. We say yes to Your will, Jesus. Yes. To Come on and give the Lord one more praise. Yes to your will, yes to your way. Our life is not our own. And to you, we certainly do belong. We say yes. Amen. Come on and give the Lord one more praise in the sanctuary. It is good to be in the household of the Lord one more time. Amen. I'm so glad to be here in Jesus' name. I'm glad that the Lord is on our side. I'm glad that he has made ways where it seemed to be no way. Amen? Doesn't he make a way? Hallelujah. He makes a way out of no way. And we certainly do thank God for uh, Sister Kathy Wall being in our midst. Amen? Being back on our, in our midst. Amen? Got a little grandson with her. Amen. Had a birthday here recently. So we certainly do thank God. Thank God for each and every one of you. And as we uh, begin to proceed with the further parts of our service, um, we certainly do also want to thank Brother Steve for being back in our midst. Amen. He uh, had made some arrangements during his work schedule. I'm glad the Lord allowed it. Amen. We don't do nothing that the Lord, uh, we shouldn't do nothing that the Lord does not allow. Amen. So we we praise God and thank God. Um, as we get ready to move into uh, blessing time, blessing time, we thank God for uh, your liberal giving and your sacrifices that you make toward uh, this uh, church. We thank God uh, for the giving and the sacrifices that you make toward the kingdom. Amen. Toward the kingdom of heaven. And um, also, too, uh, we're coming to a close wherein this would be uh, the last day that we'll be asking you to give to the global missions. Amen. And uh, Sister Louise, what is the total that we've collected thus far? Um, amen. And this is for our global missions department of the Naipain States Council. And uh, say that again. $228.48. Come on, give God a praise. <laughs> Amen. You did that. And 80% um, of what we give to the global missions, it goes toward really, really global missions in the community. Not in the community, I'm talking about <laughs> overseas. Uh, they're actually global. And uh, the other 20% is just used to keep the department running. So we certainly do thank God. Thank God for your contributions and your giving. And um, on the last week in November, I believe that's the 29th, I believe, uh, of November, that's when we'll have our, uh, uh, I don't know what we're going to call it. What are we going to call it, Mother Louise? <laughs> Amen. Huh? Global Day. All right, I like it. 
you get to wear your African garb. Amen. If you if you German, you can wear you some German garb. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. It's your Global Missions Day. And I'm excited about it. I'm going to try to work on me a, a speaker. Get a speaker. I don't know if people are going to brave it and come. <laughs> And come to the house of faith. I don't know. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check it out. I'm going to see. Can't hurt but to ask, right? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So um, we are looking forward to our celebration and giving God praise. Um, so uh, Deacon Fields, he'll come forth. He'll, we'll take up our offering. And then after Deacon Fields, um, Sister Mother Louise will come to you. Uh, to give your last, give our last push for Global's mission. I thought we were closer, more closer to three hundred dollars uh, than we than we are, but we'll see. Amen. What we can do. I like round figures. Do y'all like round figures? Amen. Amen. So, if y'all thinking about giving me fifteen, give me twenty. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. All right, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus. We come before you, Lord, just to say thank you and praise you for your greatness and your mercy, your love and your kindness. Lord, we ask you to bless our service on today. We ask you to strengthen us and, and lead us and guide us and bless this particular part of the service, the service of giving and sowing seed. And Lord, we thank you and praise you and give you glory and honor. Let it be used to your glory in the building of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. Deacon Fields. Lord, you are awesome. Yeah. Lord, you are awesome. Oh, Lord, you are awesome. Lord, Lord, you are awesome. Wasn't for your grace, wasn't for your grace. I don't know, I don't know where I'd be without you. I don't know if it was if it wasn't for your love, wasn't for your grace. I don't know, I don't know where I'd be without you. Mother Louise, you can start on this side. Lord, Lord, you are awesome. There's nobody like you, Lord. Lord, you are awesome. Lord, Lord, you are awesome. If it wasn't for, if it wasn't for your love. Wasn't for your grace. I don't know. I don't know where I'd be without you. Hey. Say you are awesome. 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 You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. You are holy. You are mighty. You are mighty. You are mighty. You are mighty. If it was, if it wasn't for your love, if it wasn't for your grace, I don't know. I don't know where I'd be without you. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Amen. We certainly do serve an awesome and a mighty God. As the scripture says, what, as the song says, what a mighty God we serve. The angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adores him. What a mighty God we serve. And uh, by way of announcements, we have a few announcements on today, some major announcements, and we certainly do thank God. Amen. And we want to, first of all, prepare ourselves for our Nipane States Council. 
which will begin October 23rd and October 24th, a Friday and a Saturday. It's going to be a virtual cons uh, council. Uh, the registration is $10 per person. Uh, please give your $10 to uh, Sister Louise Davis, and that will take care of your registration uh, for the council. And we have two dynamic speakers on Friday and uh, Friday and Saturday. Uh, Evangelist Virginia Bowie, nationally known, and also uh, Pastor Dorian uh, Cass. He will be our speaker they were on Saturday. And also, to those two days of council, we'll have empowerment sessions throughout the day. And we will break out and start to give you the uh, platform or the information for that. And it'll be on our Facebook, our Night Pain Facebook page, and also our uh, Night Pain uh, uh, website, so that you'll be able to participate and, and take advantage of what's going on, these great speakers and these great empowerment sessions. And I myself will be hosting it on Friday and Saturday here in the sanctuary. So anybody that wants to come to the sanctuary and, and be with me, uh, you're more than welcome. Amen on those particular days. And we're establishing a team, our media team. We're going to be working with them uh, to assist in uh, Zooming everything live. So we certainly do thank God. Uh, I thank God because uh, for once, you know, we as a people should not allow anything to stop us from doing the will of God. And uh, this COVID-19 may have put a, a dip in uh, the way we do service and the way we do church, but church still goes on. Are you glad about that? Serving and worshiping of the Lord, it still happens. So we certainly do praise God for that. And um, my next announcement, I certainly do thank God and I praise God. And as you know that um, some of you may know, some of you may not, but we had uh, been diligently uh, seeking to expand our ministry uh, and uh, to, to actually relocate in a different area uh, of the community so that we can expand ministry and work uh, as unto the Lord and really fulfill our vision uh, to be a caring fellowship, leading souls to Christ, strengthening members, families, and uh, making disciples, equipping them for service and community ministry. And we've been praying and seeking after God, and uh, the Lord has opened up a door. The Lord has made a way. Amen. So uh, Christian ministries will be moving to uh, ninth in Liberty, well, 10th and Liberty, 930 Liberty Street. We have acquired that, that Jewish temple there on 10th and Liberty. Come on and give God a praise. God is a good God. God is a mighty God. Hallelujah. If he said you be faithful over a few things, he'll make you ruler over many. Amen. Amen. And uh, by way of ministry and by way of financing and keeping uh, that ministry going. The Lord has dropped a vision into our heart. And um, for those that uh, have been with me uh, with Christian ministries knows that this particular vision that God has given unto me has not been uh, something that had just started. It has always been an incubation in my spirit and in my soul. And uh, what the Lord has uh, put it in our hearts to do, uh, we have enough space. It's actually on record, it's 34,000 square feet, amen. But on the, on the board out there where you go to see the for sale sign, it say 33,000 square feet. So that's a huge building. It's a huge building. It's actually a church and a school. And um, when I got into the ministry, uh, my first year into the ministry, the Lord spoke to me. He said, I'm going to give you a church and a school. God is a good God. God is a good God. He's a good God. Thank you, Lord. And there's been times where I said, 
to myself, well, Lord, I don't know when that's going to happen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. But they that wait upon the Lord. Amen. So um, we're actually um, going to be starting a, a, a daycare uh, in that facility. Amen. And that daycare will help. Uh, it will actually take care of the financing, uh, the finances, I should say, of the facility. Because we don't want this to be a burden upon the people of God. Amen. Of the church congregation. Uh, that's why the Lord gave us such an expansion. Amen. So the name of our daycare will be uh, New Horizons Daycare Center. Amen. New Horizons Daycare Center. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And our motto is every day is a new learning and growing experience. Amen. Every day for the little children and, and also for the, the teachers <laughs> will be a new learning and growing experience. Thank you, Lord. So I've already uh, been in touch with the uh, Pennsylvania Department of Human Services. Um, I've got my clearances in order. Um, I got my first orientation uh, October 1st, and then uh, the major orientation October 7th. And then after that, I'll send in that application with all the clearances, and then we'll move toward them coming to certify the building. Amen? Everything's falling in place. Amen? It's falling in place. So we thank God for that. We thank God for that. Amen? And there's some uh, I don't know the names of those title programs where you get that government money and um, uh, proceeds and things for having children. Um, and we'll also uh, be working with that. Amen. Because we actually have 17 classrooms in that school building. Amen. Hallelujah. God is a good God. Um, also, too, the, the second phase of what we'll be doing in that building. Will we be uh, developing a youth mentorship program? And this youth mentorship program is gonna be comprehensive. It's going to, the name of it's going to be Youth Development Academy, Youth Development Academy. And our slogan or our motto will be building a better life for, building a better future for life building a better future for life. And uh, the focus of this Youth Academy is going to be on practical life skills, educational support, uh, moral development, and employment preparation, amen. And um, the, the model that we'll be using, some of you may be familiar with this particular model, is called Project based learning module, model, model. And basically all that means is, is um, that they will, it's, it's a more of a hands-on type of mentorship. It's a, it's a walk you through the process of how, how you pay your bills and how you establish a bank account, how you go out and apply for a job, how you actually treat other people you know, and how you actually live, you know. So it's, it's, it's a very going to be a very comprehensive project-based learning model with a Christian teaching foundation. So Christ is going to be the center of all that we do. So as we teach you to, to give and teach you to the children to uh, be respectful, the children how to uh, apply for jobs and go through education, it's all going to be tied up with um, this is what the Lord would have you to do. This is the principle by which you should live the moral, moral compass of your life. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So um, that program will be uh, from uh, it'll be four days a week, uh, Monday through uh, Thursday uh, from 4 to 6 p.m. And that could all change. But that's, that's the plan. That's the plan that we're going with. That's the business plan that we're going to write up. And that particular program is going to be funded by, um, you know, grants and community. I'm going to uh, 
uh, get with Gannon University and Mercyhurst University to have, um, uh, what do you call it, volunteers to come in to also help with the training and the instruction, especially the educational part of it. And then also to get our community uh, uh, facilities like Erie Insurance, uh, Hammond Hospital, and so forth, and particular businesses to come in uh, to, to give presentations and things such as that. And because I want a medical component to it, and I also want a fitness component uh, to it as well. So we're looking at the holistic reproach approach of the whole person. Amen. I know I'm, I sound like I'm at a business meeting, but I want y'all to know the vision. I want y'all to know what God is about to do. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So, uh, so we'll have community professionals discuss their work experiences, have medical and fitness and fitness professionals be present there, and we'll apply for grants. And uh, uh, also uh, will be those, all three of those corporations, the church, uh, the daycare, and the uh, uh, youth academy, all of those will be nonprofits. Amen? Amen. Come on and give God a praise. I wanted to take that time to explain the vision, to explain what's going on. And then on next week, on next Sunday, um, I could take all y'all down there so y'all can walk around y'all blessing, lay hands on it, pray, you know, and, and <laughs> thank you. See, now I'm about to get hyper spiritual. I was going to say cast out demons. <laughs> thank you, Lord. I, I'm sure all the demons are gone. <laughs> Hallelujah. But we certainly do thank God. Amen. We thank God for his grace and his mercy and all that he has shown toward us. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Bless that wonderful name of... Well, there's no other name. Well, there's power in the name of... Well, there's power in the name of. Oh, there's power in the name of. There is no other name I know. Oh, bless that wonderful name of. Well, bless that wonderful name of. Well, bless that wonderful name of. There is no other name I know. Praise the Lord, everybody. I want you to uh, stand with me and turn with me to the book of St. Matthew. Uh, St. Matthew chapter 21. And uh, I know I'm going to get in trouble when I say this, but. I don't plan to be before you long today. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes it's just better to keep your mouth shut. Thank you, Jesus. And um, as far as us, a, a date in plan for us moving, um, looking at the beginning of January, because there's some things I need to do uh, to prepare uh, the sanctuary, the church, uh, the temple uh, for, for us. And there's some things I need to do here at Christian Ministries. So, amen. So, in the process of time, we'll need all hands on deck. So, uh, Matthew chapter number one. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter number one. And drop down with me to verse 21. Matthew chapter number one and verse 21. And the scripture reads as thus, and he says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Amen. Let me read that again in your hearing. And he shall 
bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, and he shall save his people from their sins. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, send your word to help us, to strengthen us, and to deliver us. Grant the door of utterance in Jesus' name. Amen. That book of uh, St. Matthew, verse number one, and verse chapter number one, and verse 21 says, And she shall bring forth a son. And we know that the she is Mary. Shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name. Amen. And Gabriel is giving him the instructions, the angel Gabriel. said, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. And I want to just talk to you just for the next 15 minutes about the true mission of Jesus. The true mission of Jesus. Of Jesus, the true mission of Jesus. And some of us, if I were to ask you a question, I would ask you, uh, why do you believe Jesus came into the world? And I'm sure that if I went around and asked that particular question to particular people, I'd get a varied response. I'd get a varied response as to why. Jesus came into the world. And generally speaking, that those responses that I would receive, that I hoped that I would receive here in this Christian church would be a right response, would be a right response. But uh, there's a main reason, there's a main focus for why Jesus came into this world. And the main reason why Jesus came into this world, uh, wait for it, was to give his life, to give his life so that you might receive salvation. Jesus came to this world that he would die, that he would give his life, that he would give his life as a ransom for you and I. And his true mission is not that we would receive riches, that we would not receive fame or glory. Uh, that's a, a, a false mission of, of Jesus that, that, that I would say that is a benefit. Uh, there's benefits from serving the Lord. There's benefits for serving him. He, part of that benefit is that you get an inheritance, that you get a, to walk on the streets of gold, that Grace and mercy follows you all the days of your life. And uh, you get the blessings of the Lord that maketh rich and it addeth no sorrows. And those are benefits in following after the Lord. But his true mission is to save, to save his people from their sins, to save his people from their sins and those that belong to Jesus, those that are part of his fellowship, uh, they are truly saved from sin. Those that accept Jesus as their Lord and their Savior, they are saved from sin. And the Bible says it's not of works, but uh, least any man should boast, but it's faith in Jesus Christ. You got to believe that he is the way, the truth, and the life. You've got to believe that he was manifested and that he came to this world, that, that, that Jesus died, that he rose again on the third day. And then when he got up, he got up with all power in his hand. And you've got to believe that Jesus said that he was going to go away, but he was not going to leave you comfortless that he would send you the comforter or the Holy Ghost in his name so that you would receive power, power not to do your own will, but power to be a witness 
unto the Lord, uh, unto the Lord Jesus Christ. You've got to believe. And those that belong to Jesus, they are saved. They, they cease from a lifestyle of sinful behavior because of the grace that is in Jesus Christ. Those that are saved, they, they, they cease from a lifestyle. They cease from a lifestyle of sinful behavior. That's a, a call hallmark. That's a, a requirement of the Lord because his very name means salvation. His very name means salvation. And the Bible says that you have to come out of darkness to walk in the marvelous light. And we know the scriptures that says that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature, which means he's a new creation. Hallelujah. That's beautiful when you truly understand it, that, that when you're in Christ Jesus, you become a new creation. It be like how God spoke and there was light, that how God spoke and things came into existence. When, when you receive Jesus, who is the word of God that was made flesh, hallelujah, and when he speaks into your life, you become new. Hallelujah. Your hands become new. Your lifestyle becomes new. Your appetite becomes new. That, that old man, that old way of living has passed away. It was literally buried with Christ Jesus through baptism. Uh, and when you came up out of that water, the Bible says you got up to walk in the newness of life. You became new. You became born again of the water and of the spirit. That means that your conversation changes, that your appetite changes, your desires changes, your, your fellowship changes. When you used to smoke all those Newports and Salem and, 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 and camels, hallelujah. Now the Lord has taken that desire away from you. My God, when you used to go out and drink that dark liquor, now all you desire to be drunk under the Holy Ghost. You say, if it can't get me higher than the Holy Ghost, I don't want it. If it can't get me higher than the Holy Ghost, I don't need it. Uh, you treat people right. I'm familiar with Pastor Duck's testimony. I don't know why I'm getting on her today, but I remember what she said when she got the Holy Ghost. Her dog knew she had the Holy Ghost. Amen. Because she started treating the dog right. Showing that dog some love. Amen. When you get the Holy Ghost and you get some power, people should know that there's been a change in your life. Uh, your husband should know it. Your wife should know it. Your children should know it. Oh, my God. Your friends and family, even your enemies should know that there is a change. Uh, somebody say there is a change. There is a change. When you receive Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior because he came to save his people from their sins that that there should be a change uh, and when the the angel gabriel was breaking that thing down to mary he told her that his name shall be called jesus uh, which means jehovah saves he was letting him know what his purpose and his mission is by his name. Oh my God. So he was letting them know that his name should be called Jesus. I want y'all to pay attention to me today because in a few moments we're going to wrap this up. My God, but his name shall be called Jesus. And with his name, it literally reveals his purpose. Uh, because his name means Jehovah saves. Jehovah is salvation. Uh, another one of his names that goes with uh, Emmanuel, which represents God being with us. Uh, and we know that God was in Christ, uh, reconciling the world back unto himself. Uh, reconciling you and I back 
to God because all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But God sent a Savior. God sent a Deliverer to, to wipe away all of your sin, to, to deal with your sin, to set you free. Uh, the Bible says that whom the Son is set free uh, is free indeed. I'm, I'm free to be a worshiper. I, I'm free to be a praiser. I'm free to turn over my life unto the Lord. Uh, oh God, who am I talking to here today? And Jesus' name means salvation, which literally reveals his purpose. Uh, that's why he truly is the light of the world. He is the original light of the world, the city that is set on the hill that cannot be healed. He is the original salt of the earth. Uh, oh, my God, because if you get connected with Jesus, uh, uh, he can give you purpose. Uh, if you get connected with Jesus, uh, he'll turn your life around. If you get connected with Jesus, uh, all your hopes and dreams uh, uh, will change and be in admiration uh, of the Lord because he is the way maker. He is the lily of the valley. He is the bright and morning star. Oh, my brothers and sisters, that's why Jesus came. He came to rescue. He came to save us from judgment. Uh, he came to save us from the penalty of sin. He, oh my God, he came to save us from the power of sin. He, he came to save us in the outcome. He'll save us even from the very presence of sin. I hope you hear me here on today. The power that is in Jesus. He, when you turn your life over to him, my God, you receive power. The Bible says that ye shall see power after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Uh, you got power over sin. You've got power over the cane helpets. you got power over lying. you got power over stealing. you got power uh, to leave that man or woman alone. you got power to go home to your own wife or to go home to your own husband. you you got power, hallelujah, to do things right, decently and in order. Why? It's not of your own goodness. It's not of your own grace, but it's by the grace of God. It's, if it had not been, if it had not been for the grace of God, if it had not been for the power of the Holy Ghost, if it had not been for the anointing, uh, if it had not been for Jesus uh, who died on the cross that gave his life for a ransom for you and I, there's no telling where we would be. And I'm so glad that the scripture said that if he be lifted up, oh, that's why we got to lift him up. That's why we got to magnify the name of the Lord, even the great apostle. All. He said, oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this death? Who shall save me? Who shall bring me out of this condemnation of sin and shame? And he came to the conclusion and said, there is therefore now no condemnation. Uh, to them that are in Christ Jesus, uh, who walk not after the flesh, uh, but after the spirit, uh, for the spirit of life which is in Christ, uh, for the anointing that is in Jesus, uh, for the power that is in Jesus, uh, it has made me free. Uh, it has freed me uh, from the law of sin and death. Uh, for what the law could not do, uh, God sending his own son uh, in the likeness of sinful flesh uh, and for sin uh, to condemn sin in the flesh uh, so that we might live, uh, so that we might fulfill uh, the righteousness of God. Uh, 
oh my God, in this flesh. Oh, you ought to give God a praise. You ought to give God a praise. Have you been to the water? Have you been baptized? Have you received Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Have you confessed him with your mouth? Have you believed on him with your heart? You ought to give God a praise. You ought to say, Lord, I thank you. Oh, my God. And as we realize that the purpose of Jesus is to save sinners. Notice what the scripture says. That he came to save his people from their sins. And I got hung up when it said his people. Oh, my God. Everybody that departs from evil and walks in the way of righteousness, they belong to God. Everybody uh, that turns from darkness to light, they belong to Jesus. They become his people. Oh my God, I hope you hear me today. Those that are is they realize that they've been bought with a price that they are not their own you have not been redeemed with the blood of bulls and goats and with heifers you've been redeemed by the precious blood by the precious blood of the lamb what shall wash away my sin Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood. Somebody say nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood. I see why David, when he fell in trespasses and sin, he said, wash me and I shall be clean. If we were to fall into trespasses and sin, we should cry out to the Lord and say, wash me and I shall be clean. We should, the Lord created me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me because I don't belong to the devil. I belong to Jesus. You got to square your shoulder and lift up your head and come to yourself and say, I don't belong to the devil. I belong to the lily of the valley, to the bright and morning star, to the great Shabbat. Can't come on, shout. Hallelujah to the rose of Sharon. Oh, I belong to Jesus. You ought to clap your hands and give God a praise. You know, sometimes, Pastor Duck, we lose our way. But you've got to belong. Know that you belong to Jesus. And be like the prodigal son. And come back to yourself. Tell your neighbor, come to yourself. Realize that your daddy is rich. Oh, my God. Realize that your daddy, he's merciful. He's loving. And he's kind. Tell somebody. Tell everybody. Come on home. Oh, and get your seat at the master's table. Tell somebody there's room at the cross. There's room at the cross. There's room at the cross. There's room at the cross for you. And that brings me to my last point. Oh, if Jesus' mission was to save his people from their sins, oh my God, then our mission should be to be saved by him. Oh, let me say that again. If Jesus' mission, if his priority was to save you from your sin, then your mission and your priority to be allowed Jesus to save you from 
your sin. Oh my God. Somebody say, save me, Jesus. Save me, Lord. Oh, wretched man. Save me, Jesus. Bring me out of darkness into your marvelous light. Save me, Jesus, from myself. And we know that Jesus, he cannot fail. We know that Jesus, he cannot lie. If you put your trust in Jesus, not just some things, but everything is going to be all right. You don't have to worry. You don't have to shake. Come on, shout. You can shout right now. You can get happy that the Lord, he is your savior. He is your deliverer. He will save you. Now unto him that is able to save you to the uttermost. Come on and give God a praise. Son of Abasha, his mission, his anointing, his his commission will deliver you. Give God a praise. Those that follow him cannot fail. Those that trust in him cannot can be condemned. Though the enemy come up against you like a flood because you belong to him. Hey, he'll lift up a standard against him. That's why Paul said, what shall separate me from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus? Brothers and sisters, those that connect themselves to the mission of Jesus, my God, they shall be more than conquerors. They shall be the head and not the tail. Come on and give God a praise. Come on and give God a praise. Hallelujah. For whom the Son is set free is free indeed. Come on and give God a praise. Hallelujah. If there be one here today uh, that realizes, Lord, and I have not lived the way you have desired me to live. Lord, I want to turn my life over to you. I know you've been, uh, you paid the price. Hallelujah. You gave your life. So that I might have life and not more abundantly. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus just now. He will save you. He will save you just now. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Oh, I feel the Holy Ghost in this place. To Jesus, come to Jesus just now. Those of you that need prayer, uh, just raise your hand and we'll pray with you. He will save you. He will save you just now. When you accept Jesus, you accept he his purpose. Hey, he will save you just now. Let the church stand. Hallelujah. I enjoyed that word on today. Thank you, Lord. Y'all wanted me to keep preaching. Hallelujah. And I felt like keeping preaching. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, glory. I'm going to get a whole nother sermon when I leave here. Hallelujah. And I pray that the Lord give y'all a whole nother sermon when you leave here. Just think about the purpose of Jesus. Uh, his purpose was to save. And when you accept the purpose of Jesus, that means you're going to be saved. Amen. Come on here, somebody. Ain't that a good argument? I wish I was a lawyer, Dr. Fields. Amen. I make that my opening statement. Hey, hallelujah. Because he saves, I'm saved. Because he saved, you saved. Because he lives, you can live. Come on and give the Lord a praise. Oh, see, now I'm almost getting another sermon. 
<laughs> Pastor Duck call it my next win. <laughs> Hallelujah. My God, I love all of you. Amen. I love you with a perfect love. Hallelujah, my God. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we ask you to bless these thy great people, those that are listening to us in the virtual world and those that are in our presence. Lord, we ask you to send forth an anointing. Send forth your glory and your grace. In this new season, in this new power, in this new anointing, refresh us, revive us, stir us up in the name of Jesus. And Lord, perform your purpose, perform your mission, perform your work. Hallelujah. That is save us to the uttermost uh, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, to present you faultless from his presence with exceeding joy, to the only wise God, to him be glory and honor, both now and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Love one another. Fist bump one another. Uh, encourage one another. Uh, even if you got something to say, say it to one another. <laughs>